Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. Uh, today we're going to do our daily technical analysis of uh, gold and silver. And I'll give you my financial opinion and we're just going to go straight into it and take a look. Uh, I'm going to start with the dollar and go into the 10 year yield. Uh, the dollar is remaining relatively strong. Uh, we are sitting on top of a pattern or a, or a support line uh, that's right on top. And we got to see where this thing goes. Usually a weaker dollar means uh, higher uh, commodity prices. Uh, but right now, we've had a strengthening dollar. We've had higher commodity prices with it. Uh, we've seen that money rotation from stocks into commodities, and now commodities are starting to pull back some. Uh, but right now, the dollar is remaining resilient. It's sitting on top of a support line. Uh, the 10 year yield has sold off, and that 10 year yield is sitting on support right now with a hammer candlestick. A uh, hammer candlesticks usually mean that you're getting some support underneath it. That's why there's a wick. And we are sitting on top of this line going across here. Uh, so basically what we did is we've broken out and we've come back and done a retest all uh, this month. Uh, that's a nice strong support line going across uh, that we have to break through. Are we going to break through it or are we going to come down and, and basically move sideways below it? Difficult to say. Uh, there's a lot of fear in the markets right now, but uh, we'll have to we'll have to watch and see what's happening. Just kind of zooming in here on the dailies. Uh, this is the daily candlesticks, and we're right on that support. Looking at the CRB index, we have been selling off. It's been a ferocious sell-off. Uh, we are continuing to sell off in the CRB index. Uh, this is a larger. Uh, pullback than what we've seen before. So let's zoom out real quick just to get kind of a, a gauge on where we're at. And we had a pretty large pullback back in um, November of 2021 as well. We kind of came up here, uh, squeezed up a little bit, and sold off uh, recently. That's what the squeeze up is. We did a little throw over, and now we're, we're selling off some. So there is some selling pressure in commodities that's happening right now. Uh, with the Stronger dollar and weaker tenure, uh, usually gold gets a little bit weaker uh, with that stronger dollar, and we've sold off a little bit today. Again, we're sitting on top of a pattern. Uh, it still looks uh, good at this moment. Silver selling off as well. That one's falling a little bit below its support level. We could fall back uh, to another support level. Uh, that could go, we've got a, a very strong support level here at 14. And I'm not saying we can go that low, but it's possible uh, to go that low depending on market um, conditions and how, pe how afraid people get in the market. Uh, but I would say we've got good, strong support through here at that like 18-ish level. Uh, we can go all the way back across all of these. And there's very good, strong support at this level going across here at 1850. So that would be the next line of support if we were to come back down uh, and tag something. Platinum. Uh, platinum is still in the pattern. We sold off today 20 bucks. Uh, we've got a pattern on top of a pattern. And we're sitting inside this falling wedge, which is usually a bearish signal, or a bullish signal, I should say, bullish. And we've got a little bit of selling pressure um, pulling on back here in the short term. The next line of support is this guy coming across at 885. Looking at the ratio, XAU to goal ratio. Let me get off the log here. Uh, we have come on back uh, in that ratio. We've we've broken a support line going. That's ah, not really a. Let me take that off here. We're pulling on back. We have not broken this downtrend line yet. We have not broken it. So at this time, the gold and silver miners have not broken out against gold. Looking at Corora Resources, that is selling off hard. We're getting a lot of selling pressure in uh, gold and silver, and it's continuing. Uh, to sell off. So there's Corora Resources. EXK is selling off a little bit. Uh, we're almost back within this pattern. There we are. We've got more selling pressure in Fortuna Silver Mines uh, coming back a little bit. We've got SILJ, which is an ETF that's selling below uh, the support line. Uh, that's that support line I drew across coming through kind of in here. You can also draw it on the bottom of this guy here if we were to draw it down there as well. I mean, if you were to hit the bottom of this, this guy, the tops here, that's really the, the strong support level. Uh, looking at GDX, 
We've got a, a, a support line through here, or su support zone, I should say. And looking at this guy here, we've broken kind of below that support line. And now we got to see where we're going to go from there. Looking at uh, Matt, this is uh, Metallic Minerals. It's a small silver company, exploration company. Uh, selling off today. Again, more selling pressure. Uh, going across, we've got Koya Resources, uh, one of the few that went up today. Just moving kind of sideways in that pattern there. Discovery Silver selling off. It does have a wick on the bottom. Uh, wicks on the bottom usually mean that buyers came in and bought it back up off that bottom. But uh, yeah, we're just moving sideways above that support, the support line. First Majestic Silver, uh, we are selling off and we are looking at this support line going across here. Big picture view. It's the support guy coming down here. We may come and tag this support line. It's a possibility there. Uh, Newmont. Newmont pulling on back. Selling off. Again, getting the selling pressure. Uh, the past, I'd say, April onward, we've been in a, in a pretty strong downtrend. Mag Silver selling off. Kind of a mid cap, mid size, uh, 1.26 billion market cap uh, company. Not huge, not small. Uh, we can even pull this guy and start creating more of a falling wedge, perhaps. We'll have to see how that fits as a new um, falling wedge pattern, perhaps. Looking at Yamana Gold, again, we're getting selling pressure uh, in Yamana Gold, and it's finished quite strong. Uh, but we're still above the bigger kind of picture line here, which is our uh, falling wedge. So we went up and hit our head against this resistance line, and we're starting to fall, uh, fall and come on back. Impact Silver selling off a little bit. We've got support right underneath it here. Uh, if we zoom in, we do have a little bit of selling pressure. A little wick on the bottom. I like to see hammer patterns with big wicks, if we can see those. Uh, Aftermath Silver selling off still. Uh, this is putting in a gigantic um, booty pattern. I call it the booty bottom. Uh, one bottom, and then we come back and do another booty side side of it. And right now, we are heading lower. Uh, perhaps the overall markets are adding to this uh, pattern. Uh, PLG is still pulling on back. Small little down day today. Uh, hopefully, we can find some support here at some point. Uh, I can also move this guy up. And this is starting to create... Uh, another kind of channel, parallel channel pattern. Sibinyai Stillwater, uh, still selling off a little bit. I'd like to see wicks on the bottom. I'd like to see some support at some point. Uh, but again, I'm waiting for the buyers to, to come in here and show me that they're there. Sandstorm Gold, getting a little bit more of a sell-off. We're back on the support line. This blue support line is a long-term support line of just hitting these guys through here. But this could head lower, guys. I mean, we are... Coming back with a lot of momentum. Uh, Franco Nevada, another royalty, large royalty company. We're still, we're right on the support zone for Franco Nevada, playing around with the support zone right now. The support line, I should say. Uh, EMX, EMX royalty right on support. Uh, coming on back right on the support line. And again, this isn't a very strong support line. I kind of just threw it in there. Um, cause we were, we were hitting it through this level here. We hit it there, 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 and we're, we're coming right up. It could pull back to this support line down here in the blue. Tune resources selling on off. Uh, everything's pulling back guys. Everything's pulling back. Wheat and precious metals, uh, pulling back here. So there's wheat and precious metals sitting on top of this pattern here. And we're pulling on back. Uh, the daily is pulling on back as well. Uh, gold royalty, getting a little bit of a hammer pattern. Again, I wouldn't put too much. Uh, myself, I wouldn't be a buyer yet. I'd just be sitting. Uh, Metallo royalty, uh, still getting selling pressure. We've broken out of this support, the support trend, uh, and we are heading lower. When will the selling stop? We'll have to find out and and see what these. If the buyers come in here, step in. Mavericks Metals, uh, another one that is getting. Uh, some selling pressure today, not as much as the other ones, but uh, we're still above, like comes in here, 
comes on up. We're still above this basically pattern. We're just riding it at this time. Royal gold. Royal gold is uh, selling off today, 1.76% down. It looks like we're trying to find some sort of momentum, uh, slowing down this momentum. And we're above the support area, so I, I would suspect it would slow down and start turning around here at some point. A Cisco Gold Royalty selling off. It's starting to break below its support level. We could head lower here, guys. It is a possibility. We've got Altius uh, Minerals Corporation selling off again today. We're at that support line going across, and we'll see what happens in the short term. Uh, on the monthlies, you can see a little bit more selling pressure here, and we're starting to dip below that support line. So we could see some, some further sell-off. Again, um, lots of selling pressure out there in, in all of these markets, and the precious metals are feeling it too. And right now, uh, I'm just waiting to see what's going on here. I'm not adding any of my money myself. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting. Uh, and, and I haven't sold anything in anything, guys. That's, that's what I've, I'm just riding this stuff. Why? Because the ratios are still good and the market conditions still look good. Uh, I don't have any data telling me I should switch or change my, uh, my view on it. And if we get a recession, I'm probably just going to ride right through it. If, if that's the case, uh, we've probably already priced in the majority of it anyway. So, uh, that's what I've got for today. Uh, if you guys like the analysis, give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe to my uh, website below and support me, uh, you can join the platinum membership if you'd like. And, uh, that's that's all I've got. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want these daily updates. If you like them, uh, comment below if you'd like. Uh, and we'll, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.